Well, good afternoon, everybody, and uh, welcome to another one of these video blogs. Uh, I trust you're uh, all keeping safe and keeping well. Do keep in contact with each other uh, through this uh, period of, of isolation uh, when we can't meet. Uh, I know you're doing that uh, by, by phone and by social media, uh, and especially with those who are on their own um, and who will be particularly vulnerable to the effects of uh, social isolation. And do keep praying for each other uh, and for the church congregations. We are still uh, a fellowship of God's people in Christ in Drumgulland and Kilkenna Murray. Uh, so pray for uh, the congregations and uh, pray for uh, one another. I want to share a psalm with you. Um, it's a psalm that I would very often read uh, when I'm out visiting folks. Obviously, I, I can't do that. Uh, but uh, it's it's a great psalm of encouragement, actually. Um, Psalm 27, David uh, is facing his enemies here um, and this is a psalm of confidence and uh, it can apply really to any situations where we're under pressure or we're facing difficulty. Uh, as I say, it's a great psalm of enc encouragement. It's a psalm that's uh, uplifting. So I'll read the whole psalm um, all the way through. Um, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When evildoers assail me to eat up my flesh, my adversaries and foes, it is they who stumble and fall. Though an army encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war rise against me, yet I will be confident. One thing have I asked of the Lord, that will I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to gaze upon the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. For he will hide me in his shelter in the day of trouble. He will conceal me under the cover of his tent. He will lift me high upon a rock. And now my head shall be lifted up above my enemies all around me, and I will offer in his tent sacrifices with shouts of joy. I will sing and make melody to the Lord. Hear, O Lord, when I cry aloud. Be gracious to me and answer me. You have said, Seek my face. My heart says to you, Your face, Lord, do I seek. Hide not your face from me. Turn not your servant away in anger. O you who have been my help, cast me not off, forsake me not, O God of my salvation. For my father and my mother have forsaken me, but the Lord will take me in. Teach me your way, O Lord, and lead me on a level path because of my enemies. Give me not up to the will of my adversaries, for false witnesses have risen against me and they breathe out violence. I believe that I shall look upon the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord. Be strong and let your heart take courage. Wait for the Lord. Amen. So that, that's a great psalm of encouragement um, and uh, one, one of my favourite psalms and as I say, one that I would often read uh, when I, I visit people. Um, and David is, is praying for protection here. Um, he's in a difficult situation, um, as he often was, um, but he knows the all-encompassing protection of the Lord. And um, he has confidence then because of that. Um, he is confident that the Lord is with him, that the Lord will bless him, that the Lord will lift him up uh, high upon a rock and will protect him. And really it's that ending to the psalm that I, I want to focus on uh, just very briefly. Um, he says there at the end of the psalm, wait for the Lord, be strong and let your heart take courage. Wait for the Lord. And in this period of isolation, we're doing a lot of waiting. But actually, as we wait as believers, we're not just waiting circumstantially in terms of our circumstances. We're waiting for the Lord 
and we're looking to him. That Hebrew word wait there uh, is also uh, a word that can be translated uh, look for or hope. You know, and waiting upon the Lord is about hoping. It's about hoping in the Lord uh, as we wait uh, for him and for his purposes to be fulfilled. So as we look to the Lord, as we wait upon him, as we look to him in hope, um, we do so in dependence upon him and in trust. And that makes us then in him strong and courageous. You know, the psalm starts to go to the start of the psalm, from the end of the psalm to the start of the psalm. The Lord is my light and my salvation. And that is fulfilled in Jesus. He is light and he is salvation. We look to him and through him we wait upon God our Heavenly Father. And he brings us through all the circumstances of life. Let's bow our heads in prayer. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your goodness. Uh, thank you for the fellowships of Drumgulland and Kilkenamurray Presbyterian churches. And I pray, Father, your blessing upon all at this time. Help us, Lord, as we wait for you. Help us to wait in hope and in confidence, looking to Christ our Saviour and our Deliverer. And so I commit all to you, Lord, and ask it in Jesus' name. Amen.